Hey everybody, so this video is going to be a little bit of heart-tugging sadness for me. Black Russian Big Muff. Finally got one. Um, got a really good deal on it. Now I know why. The uh, input jack is screwed. Case doesn't stay on properly because uh, screws are missing. Well, one screw is missing, the other three are loose. All the uh, potentiometers just free spin. There's no stopping point. It doesn't turn off and on. I mean, it's, I was really looking forward to this pedal. Like I had so many ideas of things I wanted to do with this and I can't because it's uh, it's busted. It also has a night and volt mod on the back. Uh, it appears as if possibly a new uh, foot jack switch had been put on and the battery uh, clip appears to be removed. I haven't taken it apart to look just I don't even really want to look inside of it because I'm just too frustrated With this thing as it is So yeah, that's my uh, Black Russian Big Muff Demo slash review looks nice So anyway, thought what we do with this video is I'm gonna go back and revisit the uh, the MiG-50 Because I got this Friedman Dirty Shirley now, the Freeman Dirty Shirley, if you don't know anything about it, it has an internal trim pot, so you can go like full-on gain, or you can dial it back to get more low gain. There's a tight switch on the side where if you flip the switch up, all full frequencies, you get all the bass, uh, turn it down, it just tightens it up. Almost like, well, not quite like using an overdrive because you're not getting more gain, you're just tightening up the low end like an overdrive would. Then you get bass treble and presence on the top row and then you get volume middle and gain on the bottom row and the reason I wanted to do this video is with the MiG-50 it's kind of kind of difficult I would say um, to dial in pedals and it's not even difficult it's just it's not a way I normally go about dialing in pedals but I've found some cool ways to do it so we're just going to go dive right into it I have I have everything on the MIG around noon except for the bass. The bass is a little bit more above noon, maybe 1, 2 o'clock. And this is what you get from the Dirty Shirley. Now the volume on that channel is only like 1, maybe 1.5. One and I found what I like to do with this pedal is kind of get in the ballpark, um, bring the presence up a little bit. Tell uh, a dirty Shirley in front of the mid can get pretty well, like pretty tight. So I was wondering if you could get kind of that 80s. I think you can. So, what I'd like to do now is take the volume, put the volume maybe 10 o'clock, it's going to, of course, have more noise coming in. It gives a little bit more aggression, a little bit more punch to the sound, a little bit more... A little bit more balls, like it's it's more in your face aggressiveness. Now what I like to do usually is 
I don't really like to mess with the pedals EQ much because I find this pedal kind of doesn't really, I don't like to, let me just show you. All right. Got the mids out. sound with the amp instead of the pedal. internal trim plot I have it uh, kind of roughly about halfway so it's not full-on gain that's not totally uh, light overdrive either but let's bring the gain up and put the uh, we're gonna flip the tightness switch back and forth it's all the bass right there like it in the tight the tight position <laughs> So this is the Dirty Shirley pedal. Uh, I haven't really gone through how versatile it is because I kind of get to one tone and that's just really all I need it for. But we'll just, uh, we'll go through the knobs real quick. This is the bass knob. You can tell there's a lot of low end. All right, now we're gonna do the same with the treble. to me. All right, now we'll do the mids, even though we kind of already did that.
also more gain on tap because you can use that trim pot to really bring it out. But <laughs> to me, this is a killer rig. If you're looking for a versatile amp, I've already been through this last video, the MiG-50 might be a great choice because uh, it takes pedals really well. We've tried the Rat, we've tried a uh, SD-1, we've tried a few different pedals, and they all seem to react well with that, uh, with that amp. This one, this orange, not so much. This orange, you need to buy this orange because you want to sound like a rocker verb. So anyway, hope you guys like this video. If you could, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time, and maybe one day in the near future I can have a big muff black Russian that actually works. See you guys next time.